ladies and gentlemen, episode Reggie Pace, James Reddis, mm. Gabe Santa Maria, me. My name is Kelly. Nah. Um, nah, we're here nah, nah. in uh, Richmond, Virginia. Shouts out to our guy Tony. Uh, shouts out to our other guy out there, Tyler. Uh, shouts out to all our friends out there in the hustle season land, RBA people. Hope y'all are feeling good today. We're trying to do our best here. We always try to give you our best every Friday here at the hustle season. Uh, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing fine. You know, is it, we have, you know, at the top of the show, we got anything we, we want to plug now. Any like plugs? just because people are like, are tuning right in. We should tell them things that are happening soon. You know, uh, um, right off the top. I know that I'm sp- I'm supposed to be doing a Shaco sessions with uh, Mekong Express and the Gifts Fresh Horns on November second at In Your Ear, um, so keep uh, keep it locked for that. Um, that's that's uh, oh also uh, uh, on um, October thirtieth playing go. a show with uh, nope, Mister. Nope. DJ Williams nope, at that. River City Roll with a bunch of people, including Sam Reed and a bunch oh, of Kelly, other Kelly people. plugging his gigs. Now, yeah, uh, that's no, not really we have us. something actually really No, I'm big. plugging my gig now. Yeah, go oh, ahead. yeah, if yeah, you do the brass band's gigs, playing at Mainline Brewery uh, one of those days, 27th. Oh, uh, yeah, it's the 27th. Go on uh, Tuesday. our Tuesday and check it out. Yeah, 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 Tuesday, 27th. Also, great show coming up on TV. Uh, just joking. All right, so I got to plug my one thing. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, leave me alone. If you see me, just leave me alone. That's a good. That's a good plug. That's a great plug. All right, but I really wanted to talk about is the end of this month okay. is we're re- releasing our LP. Whoop. Here we go. Some music. Yeah. yeah, our full length LP by the Hustle Season. Yes, sir. Putting a lot of time, a lot of work into it. Oh, yeah. James has put a shit ton of time and energy into this. Uh, we mm-hmm. all have uh, really. Well, uh, I mean, I, I would say that this was really. A, an interesting idea that just grew. It was kind of like a little EP thing. And then musically, it turned into more of a record. We had enough material. And, um, you know, th- this became a real project. I think we became a real collaborative team throughout this thing. And um, we're I'm really excited for everyone to hear. So there will be another single that's kind of coming out uh, separately, but will also be part of the record called All Night. Um, that's coming out as well um, next Friday, October 30th. And um, I think we'll, we'll have some visuals for everyone. A lot yeah. of different styles on the record. We were just doing anything we, we wanted to do. And if you're a fan of uh, of the whole season, all the, the network and all the shows, and you're wondering what the rest of the song sounds like, the top of the e- every episode, whether it's SOS Podcast, Carissa Meter, Trash Tech, or the whole season, Pace Cast. Right. The full versions will be on the record. I know you, yeah. you're dying for that. <laughs> dying for those. I know, long, y'all, I know y'all was. Going, I know y'all was jams. dying for that. Straight I know some. I know some people <laughs> asked us. I would ask me about the uh, the theme song. The theme song for the whole season. Like, what is that? Or like, oh, that's us. And uh, like, what's the what's the rest of it sound like? I'm like, oh, I don't think it matters. But <laughs> 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 nah, it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, I mean, this one, this one is definitely really um, pretty amazing because I think like creatively we don't i don't know if we ever really get a chance to do something so varied on like one record you know usually right. it's you know if you're working with a band it's kind of like locked in that we're just going to like record all the songs we're going to play live and you know and then we go back and do guitars and do all this and that this was very much kind of at a different more um organic way in it like where it just kind of came together there's some live band tracks there's some beats on this thing there's a lot of different kinds of guitar styles yeah, coming from james it's a lot of a almost like a compilation album that uh that ended up becoming one halfway through making it if that makes any sense mm. uh we already had material for the podcast shows for the show themes and then we also would come up with random like when we did florida mm-hmm. that tune so what are we gonna do? We're just this? having fun. We're just having. That's fun. my favorite just, part about the group. Know, We've just every. It all started as we were just having fun. We were just yeah. washing hands. Oh, we we're just kind of fucking around. Oh, yeah. Florida. We we're just having fun. And then it was like, oh, why don't we just try and try <laughs> some other stuff? <laughs> yeah. You know. So I think it's cool. Uh, it's a project. It's a mixtape. 
yeah. LP, whatever you want to call it. It's a grouping of things to click on. It's straight up digital. I'll tell you that's what it's, that it's is. It's a though. lot of things also, to click on. <laughs> things digital. to click. It's a lot of uh, potential uh, for some of those ideas to expand way more. Like yeah. Some of those avenues that we messed with on the LP are going, you know, punk or weird electronic music. Uh, like soundtrack style, like uh, <laughs> symphonic. I yeah. think I think that's why the record is going to be why it's going to be called Volume One. Really, is because it's just the beginning, and it, as you said, like it's almost a canvas for for each song. Like they're templates, if you yeah, will, like an intro, a one hundred and one, you yeah, know, to, to what we're to what we're doing. A yeah. library of some stuff we can do. Yeah, and uh, just show off a, show off our uh, just different sides that I, that actually I don't think that really really we get to show off with other groups in any kind of way. That's true. Um, just really. Um, I don't know. It, it is a more personal approach to it as well because it was all recorded in La Cocina with the exception of um, Wash Your Hands, but it was all recorded here um, in RVA and, you know, by the four of us. And, you know, James um, especially put it put a lot of time and energy into right this. Who's snoring right now? Okay, yeah, it's, what the yeah, fuck? That is bothering the fuck yeah, out of me. No, I think who it's... Is, who I is didn't hear it. <laughs> mucus and... Where is that coming from? I think that's... Yes. Um, is, I think it was okay. I think it was a car <laughs> outside. I thought it was a car that was okay. driving by. Was and really? also, if you were looking for a way to support us, you know, Same here tissues. we go. We want to, like, uh, buy, we can get some tissues for Gabe. We can get some more gear, mm-hmm. some mic stands and stuff like that. So, uh, the hustle season. Thank you very much for listening to us. Uh, good night. Oh, yeah, good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, by the way, so the, no, the best way the best way to actually support the Hustle Season would be to go to our band camp. We have a band camp, thehustleseason.bandcamp.com. That's the best way that you can support us and and uh, support us through this whole thing because uh, this is all self-finance. Oh, you know that? Uh, put time and energy, uh, blood, sweat, tears, love, yeah. joy. Um, we got music videos coming. We got food yeah. videos coming. We got Woo. music history videos to coming. We Woo. have yeah. relationship podcast videos coming. Woo. We got uh, us hanging out, just having fun. Yeah, I mean, this uh, is the, yeah. Uh, videos coming. Comedy. Comedy. It's all, all fun. that stuff. And this record and... So hustle season. Oh, we also have a uh, t-shirts on the way. T-shirts are on the way. I'm so we're, so that's cool. I was so just close about to, to ask about that so, off air. Yes, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm very close. In case we weren't as close as we thought. I'm very close to pulling that uh, to pulling that trigger. Um, um, you know, so to All speak. Right. Uh, with right. with the with the t-shirts. Uh, thank you very much. Because yeah, it's it's time and uh, it's time to make that change. We are the people. We can do it. Yeah. That's the that's the wine and I like that. No, I like that. Huh? All right, all right. Speaking of salutes, uh, real right. quick, I just want to give a big salute to Kenny motherfucking G. Kenny G, the God. I'm Kenny oh, God. Shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna give Kenny, Kenny motherfucking G, G some fucking love right now. Let's because go for it. He was just on the weekend's record. Uh, he there's like a remix, I believe. It added Kenny G to the damn record. This is the second time he's been on a big hit recently. What was what was the other? It was thing? a Lady Gaga song, right? That he that he was yeah. playing sax. He's, think, in, he's yeah. in the music video. It wasn't as big too, but he was recently in the last ten years was on a fucking Weezer song too. Yeah, really. One of them, yeah. he's not even on the song. He's just in the video. Damn. <laughs> uh, he's. I mean, like this shit. Like literally, like uh, the weekend dropped this on Ooh. this one. He, this is the weekend. Yeah, this is the weekend, right? Here. Yeah, this this came out like this is not Thursday. The weekend. No, it's not. What is this? No, this is not the weekend. Kenny fucking G. Bro. It's Kenny fucking oh. G though. Which Yo, put, is fire. We gotta put a clip of the weekend. Can you can you find the weekend song uh that he's on? What's it called? Uh I don't know. Just like just can you search the weekend oh, Kenny G. Jam to this. Yeah, talk about Kenny G. All right, but uh well either way, I mean he's been around for a shit ton of years. And the the way that this cat can fucking show up on current artist songs, like he just doesn't say no to anybody. And so I know some cats that just be bullshitting. For I think he right. might be one of the highest selling. Here's uh, the weekend. One of the highest selling instrumentalists of all time. Yeah, you know, with that album, I you think know, so. I mean, it was mostly people were Clive Davis and all those. That crew was just putting out power ballads. We were talking about power ballads before yep. Whitney Houston's, right. and, and then they were like, "We have this instrumental guy," and he made essentially a big a power ballad with saxophone. Oh you know? shit! Oh, wait a minute. What's this is the weekend. This sounds, the way, this sounds like the weekend. This started just like a Kenny G song, though. This sounds like uh, Get yeah. Lucky. All these songs sound like good, Get Lucky Now. <laughs> All right. That's that's cool. Cool. I like that song better anyway. That's fine. I mean, I mean, lucky better than that. Lucky. They, 
He's he's been going in that. I mean, every song that he does, it kind of sounds like that Daft Punk shit that he was doing before. He's got to that, me. He's in, he's found a bag, man. That's his pocket. I think it's good for him. It's cool. It's not as cool as I think. Uh, in the new era, he can't do his old bag anymore. You he, he can't. You can't just make the old it. Kenny G. No, no not no. Kenny G. The weekend. You no, can't. Weekend. Do, I don't think you without. As famous and as popular and G-rated lots of his stuff is, Man. he also has a side of him which is like, this song is clearly about cocaine, but everyone's down to hear it, right? Because it feels G-rated. I can't feel my face, the, right? The, his, first, yeah, yeah, yeah. his first couple records sounded like it was he was in a never-ending party with strobe lights on and just like he would fucking tell, bitches in bathrooms He would like tell a slow, dark story about like drugging somebody. And then it was, how they wanted them him to was, drug them. It was some dark <laughs> ass shit, and people <laughs> like loved for real, it. likely story. Yeah, likely loved story. It. He cannot she do that it. shit again. He cannot do that. <laughs> and he's not doing that shit. He's nah. hanging out in the Hollywood Hills. No. Like he's going, even though people are getting shot up in the Hollywood Hills like crazy now. Yeah, it's getting crazy but out like, there. Uh, I mean, he's hanging out and doing some real. He's doing some real shit right now. He's still trying to carry on with this. Uh, hey, I don't know if you guys have seen the promotion for this the weekend for his newest record, but he's been like in makeup. And like, so, like one of the songs, he's like, it's like he just got beat up, and he's like bloody on I his seen, nose. I saw that. Have you seen that? Yes. So he's like been really playing out whatever the fuck is going on with this record, even though he can't go on tour. Mm. He's been still trying to do that with every performance, and I have to commend that dude. Yeah, like, he's moving. I'm giving a lot of salutes to the, uh, today. So salutes to the weekend. Salutes to, to Kenny G. What you guys? What else you got to say about Kenny G? Uh, no, I mean nothing. That was just, it. That's it. That I just salute him because he's that, keeping the, keeping it rolling. It was like the first thing I saw when I opened up some streaming shit. It was just like Kenny G out with the weekend. I was, I was like, like, what? what? <laughs> I was like, I was like, this is. Dumb. I was like, Kenny G is amazing. I can't diss this guy at at, at all. Not anymore. I can't. I won't. I won't do it. I won't do it. Um, and then speaking of the weekend, let's go right into MJ. Let's hear it. Um, so the leaving Neverland uh, director, um, Dan Reed, he's fighting subpoenas as he shoots the sequel. So he's shooting a sequel to Leaving Neverland. What? Michael da- Jackson died like 13 years ago. <laughs> Why are you shooting a sequel? A sequel? How does he shoot a sequel? By the way, also... It's kind of like when they shot a sequel to Surviving Carter Kelly. Yeah, it's just like, let's, we need another one. We need yeah, this, milk we need, it. Yeah, well, no, but, it. No, but, yeah, there, was, but there was actually real info. That, there was real shit here. The thing is, is that one of the accusers just lost one, his case. Like, because uh, they, re- they changed the law where the statute of limitations can be longer. They extend the law. So he, like, said that some shit like that... Uh, MJJ Productions was in charge of him as a kid, so therefore they should have taken some kind of parental guidance in the fact that he got molested and blah, 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 blah. and the judge didn't let any of that shit fly, and they d- dismissed the law. Because it wasn't pr- cause they, cause there's cause no, there's proof. no proof of that. There's no proof of that. The was, and they already have, have proven that they lied this, multiple, what, multiple, multiple times. Leaving multiple, Neverland multiple, is multiple, the multiple most times. recent one where it was like the HBO centered one. around two guys. Yes. Yeah. And Wade Robinson, a bunch of butthole and, stuff, and, and James, and, and James, and that, that uh, type of thing. yeah, and James Safe. Okay, yeah, I didn't watch it. I just heard about. Well, this is mostly also bullshit. the dude's dead. That's the difference between that and R. Kelly. Is R. Kelly can still be and he's put on trial for yeah, and he's in jail now, but yeah. he can still be put on trial for more crimes. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the other one's a dead man. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there, I mean, there's they just all one money. I mean, that dude's uh, mom came out and said he was did it for the money. There's, there, I really didn't. There's a lot to read about this thing with uh, the director but i find the director of the documentary super creepy he has no eyebrows um he he, whoa, whoa. he creeps me out a lot <laughs> Wait a like minute, what? he has no eyebrows like he's he looks really strange he's bald like purpose? he's he very like bald he's got corgan. no hair on his face and he's got no eyebrows no billy corgan like looks way more human than this guy he looks Ooh. like kind of, he looked quasi alienish. i don't dig it i don't like him i don't i don't understand why he's got such a bone to pick when there's like so much info out there ab- about how innocent michael is to the point a 500 where, page dossier from to, the fbi to the point where i watched the documentary about the first kid that was that uh was basically extorted that was his parents were trying to extort um uh michael jackson yeah and you know uh and he you know turned out to still be a huge michael jackson fan and like talked to this woman about it and like did a whole documentary and this whole thing about it. And it's like just nothing but overriding proof. It's re- ridiculously good. And I'm just like, what are y'all doing? You're making a sequel to a documentary? What? <laughs> but, but that, more, that, being, that, being said, that being said, if I had children, I would never, ever, ever let them hang out with Michael Jackson. 
Well, I mean, we, we, I don't think I think that became kind of a trope. But why does it have to be Michael Jackson? Let's say you had kids. Which random dude would you let him hang out at? Oh, your I house? know. But I think Michael you know? Jackson in particular, like his problem wasn't that he was a, a child molester. He like just had like no concept of the boundaries that you're supposed to have with children as an adult and lived in this fucking. I don't know what was I mean, going on. He had a lot of problems, but man. you know, they, yeah, yeah, they, they never, they never proved any of that. But shit. there's no, there's, I don't there's, think, I don't think he did. Like, yeah, they I don't think he proof. did that stuff. I think he was, I, 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 yeah, he did like have sleepovers with kids. I don't think that's cool. That's weird. It's totally weird. That's but really like, fucking but weird. But they, I don't think the way that know. they explain it. You know, they talk about those rooms. They're like, it's in Neverland. These rooms, these bedrooms they were talking about were like fucking like suites. You know, they're not like just like one room. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like I'm like, oh, well, he'd let that the, totally would make fucking sense. It's not like that he would have like the, he would actually be in the bed with them or whatever. It's like the oh, parents there's multiple would rooms stay in the there. Fucking it, like it was a hotel. Yeah, it's a hotel. It's yeah. a fucking hotel in a fucking house in a fucking mansion. The parents you know? were just probably happy they get a night in like a nice hotel to fucking. Well, then they tried to you know start the shit though. Yeah. Anyways, fuck. fuck anyway, that guy, fuck that guy. He looks like an alien. Um, <laughs> uh, Michael Jackson looks totally normal though. That's right. You know, hey, listen, still a genius though. Uh, <laughs> you you don't have to. You don't. You know, it doesn't matter if you're black or white, James. Um, speaking of geniuses, I want to definitely give another shout out to Keith Jarrett. Uh, there's a there's a really amazing article in the New York Times. Uh, he had like two strokes in the past two years. I did not know that. And he's like he basically nice. cannot play with his left hand anymore. Uh, like it's like damn. he's like paralyzed on his left side or something. And uh, he can still play on his right. And like, but it's like you know totally jacked him up. Wow. You know what I mean, but it's a, it, it's a really heavy interview um, that I read this morning that uh, people should check out in New York Times. Um, if if you guys have script, but they actually they actually try to keep that shit open. Um, I wish I had the money for the Sunday Times in in England in London. I just mm. I, ain't, I ain't got it like that, but I wish I did because I, they got some dirt. Mm. Um, but make sure y'all check out the New York Times article. Check out Keith Jarrett. Support him. Support ECM. They would just start doing their streaming shit. Finally, they stream all their all of their oh, heavy. Yeah. Record label stuff, nice. Uh, you know, don't get too crazy. <laughs> you don't yeah, don't some, get too. There's some great, great musicians on that have yeah. played through ECM records. ECM records, goddamn classic. ECM, ECM is the. They have a sound, and they. I always thought they were like the uh, auditory equivalent of daytime soap opera like putting vaseline on the camera lens it kind of it kind of like became a caricature of themselves because those early yeah keith, keith, those early keith jared records they sound like much smaller yeah, you know yeah. or, or like the ones with uh jan uh Gebrek, that gets the uh that trio european well, that, also, uh, quartet like, or whatever yeah, the, the they, they don't Matheny, sound anything like that Pat you know Matheny Matheny shit is, that's what i think of yeah. as like defining this that era of ECM. yeah and then it went all the way there there was like yes. one clarinet one violin in an accordion in a <laughs> fucking cavern together. Well, when it was, <laughs> when, it was when, when it started being like Americana music done through the cavern, through ECM <laughs> goggles, the Bill Frizzell stuff. Was like, yeah, it, yeah, it was just like, eh, yeah, eh. yeah. Like, some... Why? Why are they like? Yeah, they made their identity. They made reverb their a identity. A whole generation yeah. of people that were in college at the same time as us. Or, you know, some people. loved that shit. Oh, yeah, I was collecting it like baseball cards for sure. Uh, you know, Matheny, Matheny was definitely one that kind of ended up taking over his records eventually because his, you know, his well, guys. his production and stuff got crazy. Like, uh, you remember that album? I think it's, it's Song X or something X. It's I remember. The Warnett yeah, Coleman. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But he does... Uh, it's cool just because Matheny uh, always has that same box guitar tone. Yeah. Uh, later on, he did, when he started playing, like... The trumpet guitar? Oh, yeah. When, later <laughs> on, when he started playing the harp guitar and stuff and, like, all those crazy shits, you know, like, he, he expanded more. But for yeah. a long time, it was just that, like, boxy, reverbed-out tone. But he just showed up on this session with, uh, like, one of the first digital, you know, MIDI guitars. Yeah. Mm. And, dude, it sounds... It sounds like it only does one sound, which is... Uh, did he, did he build of, it? It does kind of do, only do one sound. Yeah, like, you don't... It seems like maybe he He's like, this is it. my sound. I think he just yeah. digs yeah, it this is like my it's sound. his guitar, like it's his instrument, like it's a, a saxophone. Right. Listen, and that's how right. it sounds. Listen, I'm, yep. I'm telling you what Pat Metheny has in his fucking house. He has 350 striped shirts. 
Okay, uh-huh. has, all exactly the same. All he has those, and he Sweat has pants. and he has ten thousand flat cymbals, flat rides. Okay, and At he makes least. the rock, Only the drummer rides. use them, and he makes the drummer use them, and he's probably got whatever the fuck with that guitar shit. He's probably got. He's just like I'm sticking with this because he he's that fixed with stuff. Ibanez guitar that he's they made for him. It's, it's like a it's a copy of like I think you used to play a Gibson an ES one seventy five. Uh, or something. It's like one of the thick hollow bodies. Hmm. But um, it's, it's, but the, but the the Ibanez one, you know, back when Ibanez was doing the arch top game, like really, really good. Uh, they were making guitars with George Benson, Pat Metheny, Jill Pass. Hmm. Like they had hmm. all of the, and they were. It was like these Japanese uh, master crafted guitars. Hmm. So there's this one. Uh, it's like one. I I can't remember the name of it. But it's one island off of japan uh where everybody that studied there were all luthiers not just of yeah of guitars but of, of any stringed instrument you know that's great and uh like a lot of discipline like uh, a lot of generations traditions passed down of mm-hmm. woodworking and all that stuff uh but yeah that's where they crafted the super high-end ibanez guitars wow and uh wow yeah well oh, thank you for that dude you know that? Yeah. And- Ibanez guitars, give it up. Old, old school Ibanez guitars, dude. They got sued really bad by Gibson, like in the early '80s, for copying Les Pauls like too close, like as far as measurements and stuff, and like cut in on their on their bottom line. And then they like sued them, and they had to change the shape of the I'm guitar. I'm sure that shit was some cutthroat shit back then. I'm sure it was on another mm-hmm. level um, back in the, back in them days, uh, back in the A now days. Um, so, what else do I have? I have quite a few things here um it's a new solo album and um, have they uh given us any is, previews of it there is there is a little like preview in the trailer i, I heard some of it it's just kind of like an instrumental uh, thing uh, okay. it sounds fucking great um he's it sounds like he's also using a little auto tune what, what is it what it sounds like is in uh anything that we've heard before from paul mccartney or? it's it's going to sound like solo straight up on all solo all him him on all instruments. For, it's like it's totally in. It's called McCartney Three, so it's in the vein of uh, McCartney One and McCartney Two. If you are a fan, um, which is all solo, pro, it's all him by himself doing all the stuff. Synthesizers, playing drums, vocals, everything, bass, crushing it. It's just him, just on his, on his like Stevie Wonder, you know, by himself genius shit. Right. So um, that's coming out uh, December eleventh. And, um, yeah, and there's already a, like, there's already going to be, like, five versions of the album. You know, the vinyl and the red vinyl and the blue vinyl. And there's supposed to be different songs and mixes and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, listen, I love all of that shit. I love everything about it. I'm, I'm Hopefully this Christmas we'll, I'm going to be just, just, just swimming in old man music. I don't care. Like I'm gonna be swimming in McCartney said, and you, that new print and that new Prince of the Sign of the Times. I'm hopefully going to get that copy. It's very soon. It, did you say? Yeah. So uh, hopefully all of that. So very excited about that. Oh, we'll have to we'll have to talk about uh, Kelly's reviews after after you. Uh, I will take I will all t- that in. I will take all that in. Pause. Um, Pause. Okay. So do we want to talk about? Uh, one of our favorite drummers, uh, marital problems. Drum, drummer singers, yeah. Yeah, so Phil Collins, uh, he split from his wife, his third wife, second or third wife? That was his second wife. Second wife, okay. Uh, bottom line is uh, the two of them were dating for a long time. They married. They split up uh, in the 2000 teens. Uh Mm-hmm. Or earlier than that, I think. And then they got back together for a while, not too long ago, mm-hmm. and were hanging. Uh, she started seeing another dude on the side, okay? And uh, her sons, the sons that she had with Phil yeah. Collins, yeah. Uh, were like, hey, you need to tell dad. Like, that, you can't do that. You're, like, taking all, you know. I, it, they didn't say that outright. While but, they, like, while they were the, still way it was, the way it was phrased, while they were dating, they had been divorced. They had already been married. Uh-huh. They started dating again for a little while because, you know. It wasn't exclusive. Uh, well, I guess to her it wasn't. Uh, but the sons were like, uh, you should probably tell dad, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so they forced her to tell 
him about he's it. Hating. So he finds out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He he's like he's, he's like okay. Uh, well, we're not married anymore. So she needs to get out of my house because she's at the house with she's taking up residence with the new dude in Phil's house. In, in one house. of Phil's, he has a bunch of houses, but his house in Miami, in Miami yeah. which for Phil, I mean, like, he's got England house, but that's Miami, main, that is, that, that's, 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 that's Phil cool Collins house. fucking city. That's, that's his main, cool, that's, that's the, the city, one. dude. Yeah, that's his main spot. Yeah. For the so, most part, yeah. So she's in there with this dude. Uh, they go, try to go over there, but they have armed guards, mm. like private security that won't let any of them in, won't let, like, you know, Phil or any of his people into the house. And now he's... Uh, I don't know what exactly it's called. He, well, he files a uh, restraining order. Restraining order. Well, we to get her out of the house. And also, yeah, just for her to be removed uh, because he's claiming that he has, and not cl- just claim, but like he says, you know, he has a bunch of rock memorabilia or his shit and his friend's shit, which just because of who they are is worth a shit ton of money. Did he, and, did he lose the house in the, in the divorce? No, this is his house. This is his house. They were just hanging wow. out again, yeah. and she had a key. Now, she's taking advantage of, and she's taking uh, advantage of yeah. him, fucking a younger dude. Yeah, and, and he's been on tour in his house. Yeah, because been he just uh, just finished up right before lockdown. He's been his on, second world tour. He's been a doing a, a sit down tour for the past four years, like just sitting down in huge arenas and crushing it. Yeah, still, dude, crushing they, it. Are, oh my god! And his sons, like I was reading about, sound like really cool. His his drummer, like, his, his one son, yeah, I guess yeah. one of them plays drums, you know. But whatever, it's a, they, they sounded really they sound nice, great, like nice people. You could crush it. And he's Phil Collins, and, and this lady is, uh, and I and I I'm being very nice by saying this lady has broken into Phil's house with this other uh, dude, and is just soiling everything of his. Well, look, it was, it was, I, he said it was, uh, it was, it was, it was all a pack of lies, you know? I was going to say, you sound, Ooh. James, you sound like a member of The View right now. No, yeah, he's, <laughs> it's yeah. like, we actually don't know the what man, happened between the, the two view. of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the man, it's, listen, it's I don't like know he, what type of memorabilia is in the house that they're going to sell off and like fuck up or something. I don't want this lady to be we all also crazy. We also don't know what kind of arrangement they had. The arrangement was between, you are getting, you're getting a lot of money because Phil yeah. Collins, Phil Collins. Is I have his book because I'm I'm trash. He, <laughs> I love, we yeah, need Kelly have, can verify the facts. We need, have, we need, to, have, we need to have some I sort of fully 100 percent. Yeah, yeah. we need to of, release a big a book list. No, that would like look. Hey, I can what? Yeah, book Oprah's list. got one. Kelly needs Kelly's a book, book list. list. Music book list. Perfect. Like, perfect. Who's your guy? I will do it. I'll do it. I write it down yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. I right, cool. Put it down in the <laughs> notes because right, I don't do notes anymore. All right, cool. I pull clips now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Book list. Okay. But, but um, yeah, you know, because like you know how relationships roll is getting to Gabe's bag. Relationships roll in a way that's I got like this. you don't necessarily people on the outside only see when some shit has gone wrong, but you don't really know how often they had problems or not had problems in which you know whether Phil already knew about this guy. That's the one thing to us. We're just like, who is this guy? But we, oh, don't, Phil we don't know if Phil already oh, yeah, knew about this that. guy. You know? I'm, I'm already assuming that they had an extremely toxic, horrible relationship and that this guy is just, you know. For some, listen, you know, for some I reason. I think everybody is kind of bad news. This, I'm just upset that they are in Phil's, on Phil's property with you're, their own you're security. You're on Team Phil. You're on I'm Team on Phil. Team Phil you're just Team Phil. merely from, of like, his stuff is being occupied by people he doesn't know. All right. I, I, All right. And Relax. I feel that That's point, it. too. Relax. As an American. My just stuff. And it stops there. <laughs> okay, just calm down. Like, first of all, yeah, you're right. I, my I, stuff. I agree. I agree. Phil's, Phil's place. But, I mean, Phil is also attract, attracted to toxicity a little bit. Like, if you read his book, he is he's had three divorces. Um, you know, he, for some reason, cannot find the right partner that understands his needs or whatever, like, he really lives that life. Well, I think you after three I mean? marriages, it might be on him. You know, uh, maybe so, but he's also an older man. Because so how many it's side, like, t- how, where, where is his side pieces at? Like, he, well, you only hear about one person's side side pieces, have, right? That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's the thing. He's a romantic, and he gets the wrong woman every time. That's the problem. Also, and he's, he's, he's also, an older, he, now he's an older man, and he's still not finding the right lady. Or maybe he does have a side piece that's on the road, but he knows how to keep, he knows how to keep his keep side pieces quiet. He can keep it low, but also he's not taking his side piece to her house. Yeah. yeah. At this point, though, <laughs> he got also, multiple houses. Phil he, got, Collins, he takes her to his house. I'll go to my house Phil, in Paris. Phil Collins is so rich and so old 
at this point, he might not have side pieces. He might just have pros. Hell no. Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah. I, I count yeah. that as kind of the same thing. I think what we're re- witnessing, because this is very similar to the Will Smith debacle, debacle and a couple other celebrity cool people, is we're right. seeing what it looks like when the so-called open relationship goes on for a while. And all of them seem to get weird at the end, right? It's like all yeah. of these people are cl- yeah. were claiming to be so evolved, right. you know. And, we, and of course, she can have whatever, you know. My house is big. Who cares? And then, huge. and then, uh, you know, as soon as Jada Pinkett started posting p- pictures and hanging out with the dude, it was it got weird. It was just like they were like, "Oh, who is yeah, this guy? Like, what is going on?" And it's like, "Wow, this guy lives." In a piece of my house. It's the same, same scene. Yeah. You know, this dude is living in my house. And, yeah. you know, I thought that we were helping him or can you blah, find, blah, blah. Can you find the song Two uh, Hearts? Two Hearts? And then Phil, this, Phil, oh, go ahead. No, I was about to say, because this, this song originally was called Two Houses, because it was about his different houses. Was it? Different, no. No, okay. It's a joke. I, I, no, it's <laughs> I'm sorry. Joke. Was joke. Was, <laughs> but it's the same shit but it's, is what Phil Collins is going through, right? Phil it's Collins. Like, it was like they... They they were together, then they weren't, and then they both were. It was so called open. They've we are gone co- back, yeah, back, and forth. back and forth, yeah. And now, for whatever reason, he wants that. He some one of the two people wants out. Yeah. One of the two people is tired of being embarrassed. He's like, you could be out. He could, he's like, you could be get out. out of just my don't, house. You, don't just get out of my house. You can get out of my house. Is what you could do. And she don't want to leave because he got the money. He got the money, and he she knows that she's doing. She knows she's wrong. She can't get the same amount of money. That's why. Or whatever. This this song is the shit. People do not. People always fucking talk so much shit about this song. I never heard this song before. You never heard this song? I don't it's think got so. Got a cool bass line. And the, the the bridge, the bridge right here. What album right is here. this on? Uh, it sounds like Chicago. This particular one Fuck. is just on a compilation. Chicago could never do up. this. <laughs> Chicago could never do this. I got you in the years. <laughs> 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 is that Chicago or that's somebody that's else? Silly Dan, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm saying it's in that, it's in that pocket. You know? What album is this one, Kelly? Did you say that? This is uh, it's from 80, uh, 87 or 88. I don't, I don't know this one. I really one. don't know. Because I think it was the greatest hits song or something like it's that. Or it's for a movie. A compilation. Yeah, it's like from a movie or something, dude. But it was like in the... It was in the mid '80s. This is around his tear, bro. Oh, I, I missed right here. This is one more. This, this is right here. You love this beat section. I love. I love this section. I love this shit. That's awesome. Skipping and dipping to the beat. Yo, man. Yo, I love it. How did I know Kelly was doing this when I wasn't even looking at him, bro? Come on, bro. This is this is this is this wow. is my shit all day. That is baby soft, bro. Come on. <laughs> That's, Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's mom radio. Ain't nothing wrong with a little soft. <laughs> yeah, that is some mom that's radio. That's early morning. Some of his stuff is mom radio. That's early morning. Like the kid, the, like your baby won't be offended if you put that on. Yo, it's like, every mom wake radio. Wake the baby up while, this, while he's asleep. You want to be on every, by every mom radio, though. You definitely, definitely want it. Don't you want that like check? Don't, yeah, don't actually know you want to be on hey, every mom this radio. Hey, this is not a burn. Every mom radio, you need to be on it. <laughs> hey. Look. Hey, mom look. radio. That's hey. our second album. Hey, really? Mom radio. Mom radio, you need to be on it. You need to. That's where you get the big bucks, yep. for real. So Michael I mean, Bolton, look, you know, I look Phil Collins, Philly. I feel for you, buddy. I feel, for you know, <laughs> I feel Philly for Phil. Try, try to I feel for Philly Phil. Collins. I feel for you. I feel for Philly, bro. Try to you keep know. your personal life out the news if yeah, possible. Get out his house. Get out of the house, man. <laughs> you can't. He's dude. He's such a fucking tabloid. Th- that's the thing. He's a huge. Even in America, like he's kind of corny and whatever. In England. He's Super royalty, huge. yeah. Like so, all of his shit, all of his dirty ass laundry is in mm. the fucking shit it's everywhere, everywhere. No matter what, and he's an older dude. He's like, hey, but he's still crushing it. He's but he's older. You need to stop fucking with Phil, man. I wish we could go to Florida and stand outside of his house with like pro team Phil signs. <laughs> like we got you, you know, Phil? like a picture of her with a, a circle and a line going through her face. Yeah, we could. We're just like we're picking, picking we're picketing outside. Yeah. <laughs> we can all we can all I take we, we can all take off our. We gotta take off our shirts and paint uh, a letter. A credit P- cross, Phil. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, P P H I L. There's four of us. We do a, we do a wave. Yeah. We're just doing a wave. Yeah. <laughs> get out of the house. That would be amazing. Phil, uh, Phil, 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 yeah, yeah, Phil, yeah, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Um. All right. We feel for Phil. We feel for Phil. <laughs> we feel for Phil. Right. Don't you have any feelings? No. We feel for Phil. <laughs>
Oh no. Yeah, we going crazy. We'll be out there going crazy. crazy. We're good. <laughs> we'll be drunk. Armed guards. <laughs> I mean, if we don't go on their property, they can't do anything. Oh man. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, I have a couple Florida. more things. Uh, is everyone? <laughs> That was technically a floor story. That was oh, technically. Shit. Oh, that was. Oh, yeah. Wow. Fuck yeah. That's a. Uh huh. Oh, Got a good bass sound on this record too. By the way, this is good, real good bass guitar shit on this fucking hustle oh, season yeah, record. God damn it! I'm really excited about. Really excited about. Um, uh, let's see. Um, you're welcome. Now uh, let's let's go yeah. to let's go to go <laughs> say shit. It's fucking god damn it! All right, so let's move on. Let's move on. A um, couple more things. Wendell Pierce is going to play blues legend BB King in the biopic. Oh, okay, that's Wendell bunk, Pierce, right? Will, that went. That is one hundred percent bunk from the wire. Is that uh, yeah, Pierce? yeah, bunk, yeah, okay, from, yeah, bunk from the wire. You got, you got a picture. Thrill's of him? gone. Yeah. The guy from uh, Treme. Uh, he was the the cop, the black cop on the wire. Like, on the wire, actually, side by side, that's a, I feel like that's a good a good person to do this. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, this dude's in a bunch of shit. Yeah, yeah he's a man. Yeah, of shit. I think, he's a waiting to exhale. I think he could great. do it. SVU. I think he could SVU. do it. He's, yeah, he's a man. But, he's um, great. But what's the deal? Oh, I love Wendell. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> bi- yeah. Uh, for a biopic, <laughs> I don't know too too much about BB King, but his uh, was his life. You know, I insane. Yeah, know. insane. Yeah, I mean, he's from the South Chitlin Circuit Blues Man. You know, they were kind of like, so, yeah, they were kind of like samurai or something. You know, it's yeah. like I'm the blues man of this town, oh. and I'm traveling to show all these blues men. Like they were, they, you know, he was one of those guys. There's a lot about BB King that I think, and everything said BB King, they think of him, I guess, from the '60s on when he had when he was playing the black guitar and the yeah, sitting down and stuff. And all that type of thing, but the stuff where he's younger, yeah. and there's pictures of him playing acoustic guitar and, ha- and like other, you know, a cheapo yeah. stuff. You always see the blues guys have. Yeah, he was a, he was he was a killing soloist. I mean, he had a huge, huge, Even huge farther w- back. worldwide hit with the Thrill Is Gone. That was, I mean, yeah, the Thrill Is Gone. Thrill Is Gone is still on the radio all over the world, over the world. right now. Still yeah. covered, still by covered people. constantly. All the yeah. Time. Uh, and then the soloistic, uh, uh, he was one of the guys that was really rocking the sustain early. Yeah, well, you know, he, long notes. And I'll and tell stuff you, like that. this is a thing that really, or one of the things that stood out with B.B. King as a guitar player uh, and among blues players. And he was, and this is, I guess, yeah, like 60s is when he really kind of broke. Uh, yeah. But all those other guys, when they play the blues... They played, I know part of this is because they played on guitars that weren't really meant to be bending strings because they were heavy strings. And a lot of them used to tune their guitars lower. This is when they're still playing acoustic guitars so that they could get the tension lower so they could bend the notes easier because it had big fat strings on that. I see. I didn't know that. So, but a lot of the guys that played electric guitar were really bad at bending notes. Even ones that were really prominent blues players, uh, the ones that stood out and were. Not necessarily were the most vocal, but just were the most uh, precise, I guess. And B.B. King was, like, one of the most polished of these blues players. If you listen to Muddy Waters, not to say it's sloppy or anything, but, like, it's a different type of vibe. Uh, John Lee Hooker has another type of thing, and it's uh, it's more fe- – it's all feel, but the – the the quality of intonation and like control of the note. You talking about the that, their guitar playing? Yeah, the guitar okay. playing. BB uh, King had better that is just way more refined. That's all I can say. Uh, he, I feel like he also falls into the category of Hendrix. What we're talking about, Eddie Van Halen, Hendrix, and all those guys of like one note in. That's BB King. Yeah. Yes, like you know, you know, one or two no notes sound. in. You know. Yeah. Okay. There's BB. not many guitar <laughs> players, dude. Yeah. There's, you know. Yeah. Wow. I well, was I was uh, listening to a little bit of the. This is a sidestep, but not really. A little bit of the new Winton Winton Marsalis thing, which is like, is a, um, it's kind of like a broad. It's not a Broadway play, but it's it's like a concept album. It's a concept album that's. Oh, that, is, it, is it a concept album that he makes a modern record? For him, uh, it's a concept album. It sounds like Broadway music, but it's definitely big band music. Okay. It's like really hard Lincoln Center as 
big band music. Right. Okay. Um, and then Wendell Pierce is playing like this character. <laughs> like it's in her ass. Yeah, yeah. Wendell, Wendell Pierce is playing this character throughout the album, speaking like a like a populist character of like, we you know our country is great, and the things that we are doing in our country is what defines us who we are, and it is our heritage. Like being like this populist politician guy and oh, okay. as the songs go by he keeps oh, okay. doing more stuff he's clearly he's not he's not t-bird but it's clear he's like it's a little poke at like people hearing something that sounds like it makes sense and then eventually it ends up all the way to the right with like people doing atrocities mm. yeah. for for the so, reasons yeah. that he said it's like and a it's, fable so it's kind of yeah it's like a fable a concept album and it's got some other vocal stuff in there also but uh the record i mean it's, it's cool you know it's an uh, um, impressive playing. I mean, I mean, it's Lincoln Center. Like every right. every note everybody's of it is. Bad it, everybody shit. is bad than the motherfucker. Yeah, this but is a, Wendell this Pierce is great on it. You know, he's out here. I guess is what I'm saying. He's oh, out here. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. And this is this was this just came out. Yeah, this is brand new. Oh, is this the um? Is this the ever funky lowdown? Yes. Is that what this is? That album. Yes. Is that the name of the album? Yes. Yeah, that We're, album. The ever funky lowdown. Want to put that on? Put put a clip of that. Yeah, yeah. If you want to, you want to throw. Yeah, it. I got one more. Stuff um, for it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the big band stuff is really great. Uh, so Wendell Pierce being a celebrity for in the music game, that's right up the the alley of of a BB King biopic. You know, he's like getting into the music circles. Yeah. The uh, the and he did Treme. Remember, he, he learned how to play trombone a little for oh, for Treme. Yeah. So wow. he you know because he was playing like a busking trombone player. That was also a band director. That show was too. That show was sadder than it was Ugh. entertaining, and it was hitting too close. It was I can't like, do yo, it. Can't, can't do it. Uh. So it's like the intro of like 19, 19, 15, uh, populist politician guy comes to your town to tell you why you should be in charge. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like Winton is just the master of this. Like, it sounds like circus music a little bit, but it's, it's dope. But it's stuck, it's like so tight. It sounds so like good. Whatever period that he's trying to nail. They always nail it. Like, I mean, yeah, he's an intellectual. Like, he's so amazing with that. It's the game here. Yeah, so here he goes. Everlasting us. service. I'm here for your edification, elucidation, and your education. Here's the situation. I run a game of numbers. Though I'm not a numbers man, I am. Well, it's like a, it's like a whole play. So, so he does the, <laughs> he does these things, and then the music starts back. They're not super long. The music starts back, and then there's like themes. You listen to this. I listened to it. I was it listening to it. Really I was, cool, I was, uh, was I going for a walk? Maybe I was at work. I, I just, it was just on. So I heard the whole thing. Wow. Um, and came through on your, like, in your algorithms? No, of course not. Somebody oh, okay. showed it to me. Shout out to Ryan. Ryan, Ryan Jones showed it to me. All right. Well, oh, Ronorama. Well, um, oh, word. That's what's up. Oh, and, no. It was on my algorithms because he did an episode of WTF. That's why I was in there. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's on, when yeah, Marsalis did an episode of WTF. When Marsalis did? Yeah. That's. That's cool. I think Wendell was just on there or something too. Maybe. But uh, Winton was... did one very recently. Wendell? He... Winton. Winton and Win- both they both have been on there? I don't I didn't I know the Wendell Pierce episode may have happened, but that's not what I saw. I saw the Winton Marsalis episode. I didn't see that. Okay, cool. I have to check that out. All right. We we're just giving we give you a lot of a lot of fucking shit Ever right on this episode. With an O. F O. Yeah, F O. Ever funky look. Funky, down, right? Funky. Gonna get funky. funky. Um, <laughs> what song is that? <laughs> Oh, that's a cha cha slide. Funky, Going to get funky. funky, funky. <laughs> Going to get yeah, that clap, shit. Yeah. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, yes, we know. Next album gonna have Make a slide it. on it for sure. I'm making one. All right. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Reggie. Make that money. Uh, get that Cupid money. Um. So yeah, the the uh, the the movie is going to be called The Thrill Is On. <laughs> Um and it it's gonna that's be a terrible title. Yeah, yep. well that probably might change. Please change. Um, but it's gonna be a drama <laughs> centered on the friendship between uh King and another young musician, Michael uh, Zanettis. So um what? and script is being written and blah blah blah. blah. Oh, it so, has. This is an announcement of an announcement. Yeah, I mean it's like the, it's the cast- movie. <laughs> they they got the casting, the movie, okay. everything. So they, I mean this is going to release. This is going to come very they start of the press movie. kind. Yeah, very soon. Yeah, yeah. I could look. I know. I could, I can find those kind of articles. You know what I'm saying? Too. Hey um, man, hustle season is going towards a way of having releases for our releases. Yeah, release look. about the release about yeah. the release. Look, look. Well, it's uh, earlier. You know, we told you this that record is coming out and all that, but yeah. You know, I, I think we're. I, if you love the hustle season, we really hope you love this record. Yeah, 
to be. And we love you. Love. <laughs> it's it's our it's really a, <laughs> the hustle season. It's really to we show love how much you. We love you. Yeah, really. This is uh, this hey, is really. We have gr- a low bar, yeah. low threshold to you know if you like us back. Or like us first, yeah. Just in general, it's, it doesn't take much. Yeah, we, you win, know what? Especially right, over. right, right before this election, you know, you need to give a little bit of extra love to people. You know what I mean? Just like, just say that, just because, just before, you know, this. I love you. Shit goes down. On the way in, we love you guys. That's another like idiocracy. Prophet Mike Judge, the prophet. You know, when you yeah. walked into Walmart, welcome to Walmart. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> just like <laughs> greeters, and greeters in stores, just saying "I love you" when you walk in. Oh yeah. my god, that's in the movie. Is that what they say? Oh, now? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh, Welcome god. to Starbucks. I, seen I that love shit you. A long time. <laughs> I need to see that. Um, okay. All right. Um. Um. My, uh, mm. Do you got anything? No. Bionic gloves, man. Bring um, that up. Talk about that. We're not gonna make that a habit. Um. Okay. Let's go for that. Let's go for that. Uh, I got. I got my one thing. Oh, what do you oh let's do the let's do Gabe's thing. Yeah, before he falls asleep. I didn't know you still, you still what kind of thing you got here? You got? Base player news. Base news. Base. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> whatever that was. That's the theme song. The bass player news. Base. Definitely. Tell him it's bass after it's you know, all right. Okay. All right. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, probably one of the coolest. I don't know if I say it's the best, but one of the Here coolest. We Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. One of the coolest bass players of all time, <laughs> Duff McKagan. Oh, okay, Duff. I get, oh, yeah, I Duff. get down yeah. with Duff. No, I like yeah. him. He's cool yeah, as shit. Duff. He's super cool. He's a good rock and roll bass player. Very, very articulate. And he looks really cool. Very he art- does look very He's cool. an indie, indie rock uh, pioneer, right? Not yep. indie rock. No, <laughs> all the rocks. hard rock. All the rocks. Well, he was like the first of the guys to like straight up clean up and just kind of just go totally vegan and yoga. Oh, and I don't care about that. I'm talking that about him too. shredding and guns and roses. You know, he evolved. Oh, yeah, he was the shit, you know, but he was, also, yeah. the fucking first Velvet Revolver album life. and maybe a little bit of the second, some of the best shit ever. People need to talk about that shit. <laughs> Velvet those, Revolver? The Velvet Revolver. I'm telling you, that's some oh. hard ass. Rock I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel. I, I, I can't check it out again. judgment on it. He don't know how he feels. But I do like the bands that all those people were in before they started to like hang out together and I heard have some a that, super group. I heard some of that shit again, and it, I tell you what, it's just as powerful. I'm telling you, you gotta check it out again. Go ahead. All so. right. Well, this isn't one of the tips, but it says at the top of this article, he says if you're going to to be a bass player, bass player, <laughs> learn how not to be the front guy. Some tips. Huh. So who is he talking to? I think he's talking to me. <laughs> 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 Finally, he's talking to Thundercat. Move. <laughs> Seriously, he's talking all right. To get out of the drummer's right. Yeah, Candy I know, where's this coming? Where's this prompted? <laughs> yeah, like, this, this, this is actually it ended up being a, a fucking lace clay yeah, roast. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, who, who's he got beef with? One of these bass player leaders. Bass players just got beef. They just got beef in general. I guess. Yeah, no, this is very subtle. All right. Well, here's here's the actual top five. Okay. I'm scrolling. Rules. Here we go. Here yeah. we go. I think the the first one's a pretty. Pretty right, good. Whenever you find that stuff that you, yeah, uh, good. Just it pulled, pulled up already. Now, number one. Okay. Find a good drummer. <laughs> All right. All right. It's pretty good. That's a. That's a. That think that's a. That's definitely number one. That's, that's a good list. One hundred percent. It's for a band. It's for a band. Yeah. Music. <laughs> music one hundred and one. Music. music Get happen. a drummer and make sure they're good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't pull, don't show up with that no drummer shit. I'm not really good at his accent, but I'm gonna just you know do it as the best I can. Just do what you want, dog. <laughs> okay, you ready? It's your world. That's what I said first. Okay, you ready? Finding a good drummer is number one. You need someone you can lock in with that can also listen to the rest of your band. Don't put a fill in every time the drummer puts a fill in. If you really want to be good, work out those fills together. Sure. Make Ooh. sure it's not where the guitar player is doing their whole thing. This is some. This is some. Uh, this, this is, is like making a record. This stuff. is some. Yeah, uh, and rock record too. Rock. Like the bass and shit lining up. You know. Yep. Mm. Oh but God. it goes a long way. Sure. It's true. This is all true stuff. It kind of sounds like uh, some band fight he had, and then he started writing down. <laughs> It was definitely some LA. Like, probably right a here. producer told them, like, yo, man, you need to stop playing Chill. so busy. Chill. And every time the drummer does that fill everything, 
you need to do a little thing, and so you're both hitting that together. Yeah. Like, make sure it's not where the that's guitar what players players do. Make sure we're make sure it's not where the guitar player is doing their thing because Slash guitar will play, punch you in the because face. Because guitar players <laughs> always wants to do the fucking <laughs> fill and also figure out where the singer is singing. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> It's this arranging. Like, it's arranging for dummies. Well, also, it sounds like a gospel group. I mean, yeah. pretty much. I mean, because then every, everybody's just playing inside shit towards mm-hmm. each other. On yeah, that just don't joke. step on each other. I've Jesus discovered. Christ. I've discovered that I did Literally. work harder with our drummer Stephen Adler and came up with the right fills for songs like uh, "Ought to Get <laughs> Out to Get Me" or "My Michelle" or "Welcome to the Jungle." We didn't overplay them. So listening back now, I'm stoked with myself. As a young kid, I think to myself, oh, you did the right thing. Oh, wow. So, like, real quick, I just want everyone to just... said, walk him to the jungle, too. Walk- <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, it's like, walk him to the jungle. What's Where y'all wrong? going? What's wrong with your fucking mouth, dude? <laughs> I was like, oh, he said, walk him to the I'm, jungle. I'm, I'm, I'm too relaxed right now, I guess. <laughs> um, so well, far, we're on board. Okay. All right. So these far, are all we're on good board. tips. Yeah. I like these. Yeah. All right. Number, all right. Let's go, Duff. Number two, serve the song first and foremost. Hey. I mean, I can go yeah. on and on about this. That's, that's yeah, pretty that's, much a, that's a big thing. Yeah. I mean, just like, I think we all have worked with musicians that, like, uh, try to overdo it. Mm. And you're like, you don't need to do that. So, I mean, Everyone, you know, we, all, we all have a different scale of what overdoing it means or what yeah. it looks like. And, yeah. it, and it's first, I in mean, context. It, and it kind of goes back to, to rule number one he had of, like, hey, maybe y'all should talk about the music. You know, if you have a strong opinion about where a fill should go. If you told some other people in the band, maybe they would do it too. And yeah. now you got a new, now you got a new part of the song as opposed to how like what other genres, like jam band genres, it goes like everyone's kind of on their, on their own. Yeah, they don't even have to be listening to each other. They could all be listening. They could all get a key center and a metronome and not have to listen to anybody else in the band. One hundred percent. That's what jam band music is. It's just like, oh, great. Also, I feel like if we're if we're talking about a fill, we might be fucking. We might as well just go the fuck home. Pretty much. I don't know. <laughs> pack it up. Pack it up, baby. <laughs> All right, this is what pack he said about it. This, he said, this is an important thing to remember. If you are a bass player and you want to be the front center guy, well, let's just say that usually won't happen for you. <laughs> Unless you're, y'all have any guesses? Uh, Getty Lee. Wait. So Thundercat. Uh, Phil Lanot. Phil, uh, uh, Sting. Yes, got, got anybody? Wait, no, say it one more time. I want to hear it one more time. <laughs> Bootsy Collins. He said, he said, uh, basically, he says like he's he's saying what a front man uh, should be player a guy. bass player. Tell bass us, player. bass player oh. front man. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, from Thin Lizzy, uh, Phil and Nut or whatever. Lemmy, Lemmy. No. Oh, that was my uh, next one. Was Lemmy? The, uh, yeah. Damn. All right. Eh. <laughs> All right. There you go. Unless you're Lemmy, Lemmy is only one. Uh, I think that's only. I think he's a good. Sting, he's, he's I think a, Sting fulfills that. Like completely. I, was, I said like all the people. I like and, uh, Phil and Nut. Said Sting. 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 Frontman and bass player and bass. Player. I love this. I love. I love. Yes. Num- I love yes. number three though. I love number three. I love number it. three. Learn some Larry Graham and Roger Glover cl- licks. Clicks. Licks. What clicks? did you say? <laughs> Click and clit licks. Or clicks. Ah! Clicks. Fix your mouth. Larry Graham and Roger Glover clits. We finally learned some Larry Graham. Clits. Roger. Roger. Roger so Larry Graham clit licks. Clit licks. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Is this <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> got to nuke myself. <laughs> so then I started yeah. thumping it and pulling the stump on it. Ah, I got oh, that feels good, don't it? Oh, I don't my know. No, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, he said. Uh, the last t- over the last ten years, he's gone back. He's like, I've gone back to taking bass lessons. I've been learning Larry Graham stuff in Deep Purple, the latter of which is just shredding in G minor. That's a great way to learn how to uh, <laughs> neck in the mirror. Whatever that means. Put a uh, play in the mirror. Do yeah. do oh. stuff. She goes. Do stuff like that. Oh, so God. you look cool. That was that was a convoluted this rule. Is some of this he was is, just sounded like he doesn't want you to be. This, <laughs> yeah, and some I of don't this, know about that for a rule. This, some of this is very LA. <laughs> you should play in front of a mirror. Like, so you, make sure you're not doing a weird face or something. Or I mean, make sure you have a, a list of faces that you do want to do. Yeah. Keep track of those. You really, I, mean, I, I guess I, you should. Actually, you should be aware of what playing. your face is doing. You should be aware of what your face is doing. Early on in your playing, you need to address that right away. But address it right away, but you should not have to work on it for very much longer after that. Like, I'm not saying yeah. you should. That should not be, a, like, an overall occurrence. Because then that's how you. Um, Looking cool playing. That's how you get LSD. Thing, hey. <laughs> LSD. LSD. Number four. Versatility is important. 
Sure, learn how to play like John Paul Jones and all those guys I mentioned. But also go back before that and listen to musicians like James Jamerson. Learn as much as you can about the roots of it all. If you're going to be a bass player, learn how to learn not to be the front guy. Mm. He does. He add that again. <laughs> He's reiterating it. He's like nobody but cares about that. you. <laughs> Where are all these bass player front guys? Like though, the, uh, he's this the ones we call. He's pissed off. Somebody he's seen yeah. in L.A. has pissed him off. Who? Yeah, there's somebody that was just like just going ham. Somebody's on the pissed bass, him off. Yeah, just like slinging it yeah, in front of everybody's face. He's, he's like, what the fuck maybe it's Thundercat. Doing? Thundercat, what are you up there doing playing the bass? No, because Thundercat's is like he's mad chill with his. And shit. he sometimes and has not, a bass player. in the I band. think it's somebody in his lane. It's got to be Must be, be right? Somebody got to be in the lane, right? Yeah. <laughs> Might be the guy from Thin Lizzy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean. Or I think it's like Les Claypool or something like that. I really feel like it's that. Or he's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's I don't think it's <laughs> Flea. Where's he coming from? I don't think it's yeah, Flea. Flea's not the front man. No, but he's like, but he he's like one of the first Ooh. bass players to, to look like that. What about Nikki Six? He wasn't the front man either. He's not the front man. He's, he's not the singer. He's not even a good no. bass player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, supposedly he's like crushing it now. I don't care. How do you feel? Yeah, how do you feel? Yeah. If you've been playing bass since, you know, he the band be. started. <laughs> 1983. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's, he's, he's finally killing 20 years after the height of his career. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Hey, bro. Hey, I'll buy hey, that. man. You going to get on musician's journey, bro? <laughs> okay. okay. What are we, number three? <laughs> now we're on number five now. Number five. Oh, number, this is the last one? The last one. Ultimately, find your own sound. Okay. That's, okay. that's kind of a cop that's, that's out. Big. All right. That's vague. What's the, what's the explanation? I don't think you know. Then what? become your own guy or gal. Like I said, gal. Take all the stuff and wrap it up into your own thing. I played bass on this new record of mine, as well as playing acoustic guitar and singing. So I watched our drummer Jamie Douglas and observed everything he did. After seeing it three times, I went into the control room and played over those beautiful sparse drums. I th- he thinks <laughs> more in terms of what he didn't play. Sometimes I went to. Get my groove on, but <laughs> a lot of the time he's undoing it, everything he just said. This but whole, a lot of time it's just being in that pocket. The pocket is the most beautiful thing for a bass player. So, like, do your own thing, but not too much. Hey, <laughs> sure. All right, Duff. All right, Duff. That's uh, M. Gabe San Maria. This is Bass News. Boom, <laughs> Bass. God, this is so dumb. That's good. All right, that's, that's some good. that's some good tips. Um, hmm. pause. I, I do think uh, Clit Licks. Um, yeah, Larry Glam. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who was the other guy? Larry Graham. Who else? Roger. Uh, I can't even remember now. I got him stupid. Like, what? <laughs> Fuck. Um, it wasn't Roger Waters. It was Roger. Nah, was Roger Waters is a bass player, but he doesn't be slanging it, slanging it like that on stage. He's not slanging it at all. There's no slanging when it comes to Pink Floyd. Oh, no. You ever be slanging it to Pink Floyd? No, he plays he plays a note every four bars some, for some of those songs. Yeah, no. he's like, <laughs> I'm, boom. A, I'm a whole note bass player. Then he plays the five. Check my whole note boom. groove. Now nah, at one song he um he slapped the bass boom. a little bit um <laughs> on the wall. Oh, oh yeah, he, he slapped boom. a little bit on that. He was doing a little bit of that. I, 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 I that one song. Yeah, he was I don't it. think it first. First of all, it's pretty well documented that. David Gilmore played a lot of bass on. A <laughs> I was just gonna, oh, is actually, it? I was just going to ask, dude. Like, oh, is it? I think David Gilmore did Fucking go back snob. in and like it was like the Hendrix thing. He like Fucking went back in and recut the bass. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was that shit. Fuck was, yeah, they, those dudes are still salty about that shit, He's boy. Salty shit. I play. Uh, yeah, Hendrix I'm the best I play bass. He played on the that. dude's right-handed bass upside down. Yeah, just I'm like get it better. <laughs> <laughs> Like, give me your bass. I mean, give me that shit. <laughs> no, no, leave, leave that bass here. <laughs> yeah. uh, just I don't leave think, it in the studio. I don't think Roger, I don't think Roger cares just because he got all those writer's credits. Yeah, yeah, he, he can know, cash. He still, he won everything, though. He, he just always, he wants too much. He's such a control freak and shit, man. I want everything. Give me all the royalties and mechanicals and all the website. I pay. He's give like, me your SoundCloud. Like he like give the, me your he's iTunes. Like, he's one of those bitches. <laughs> he's one of those bitches that just like he'll start out some like it's funny how and whatever he about to say ain't funny oh, at yeah, all. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, it's even. funny Close how funny. it's definitely. funny how how a society can da 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 da. da. I'm like, dude, you don't know anything about comedy. Yeah, Sounds yeah, like you're... you don't know what the word funny <laughs> means. You meant to say, yeah, funny. I have a complaint. You need some... <laughs> That's you what you meant to say. You I need... have a complaint. You need some new material or better delivery mm. or something. Yeah, he'll be literally just discovering that at that point because I don't think he discovered humor literally until like two years ago. Like he's now and he's when he got those new teeth. 
Because remember, his team fucked back in the 70s. Oh, yeah. He was just angry at, he was just angry at life. I mean, it's pretty British, but. Uh, yeah, he was, British as, he was British as hell. You know what I mean? Oh, but yeah. still, he wasn't spanking it like Larry, you know what I mean? Oh, no. He's he wasn't a, giving it that clit licks. ugly Englishman. <laughs> he wasn't putting those clit licks on that big. He was not, no clit licks. He, he was not doing that. I want to uh, know about a clit lick. I'm a bass player. <laughs> Put the fuck down. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Miley Cyrus is doing a Metallica's cover coverage album. Why? Good for her. <laughs> I don't know why. I, mean, I, guess she's I support free to that. Do it, but <laughs> that definitely counts as an announcement of an announcement. Yeah, but I, I think I'm with Reggie on this. Why? <laughs> to, 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 to be able she to send, right. send something out to the press. Yeah, she's, why Metallica? She's, why, you know? she's, I mean, she... Classic rock. What is the she, release of the press Metallica's release? Metallica's classic say. rock now. She did um, <laughs> Nothing Else Matters live a few years ago, and Ooh. she's been doing a lot of covers lately. She's been doing... A, I she bet that sounds and, good. She did Hall & Oates, um, uh, Maneater, um, classic. Uh, Blondie's Heart of Glass, you know, legendary. Yeah. You know, I was watching. I went down a rabbit hole. Of starting G- a wedding band. G. E. Smith, and he was like, "Yo, Miley Cyrus." I'm to get in that. Yo, G. E. Smith was giving praise to some Miley Cyrus in this interview I saw him in. Oh yeah, I mean, they, apparently they she, like, came, she came. She came up. Sing. She came up saying at the 40th anniversary thing, you know, where everybody was jamming. He was like, "Yo, she was killing." Did she can sing? She can sing. That was never the sure. problem. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> honestly, this this will give her a little bit more love, honestly, because it's give she's showing love to a lot of certain artists and stuff. Hey, so what up, that's cool. You know, I mean, I mean, goddamn, you could just know. I mean, yeah. one, I mean. Is that whatever. a phone book? I mean, God, <laughs> we got a lot of mail. <laughs> <man. laughs> so book, heavy. Yeah. Oh, okay, whatever. I didn't even know they still passed those out. I mean, <laughs> damn, you could just let that right, right, right where it was, whatever. Anyways, oh, um, yeah, uh, Miley Cyrus, she's going to do it. Um, Metallica's, I mean, is she going to be adding the, uh, I sure hope so. Is she going to do doing all that? Yeah, oh. yeah! Yeah, I hope so. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add these on the Hustle Season Clips uh, page, but Hustle there's a, the cl- <laughs> Clit Licks. Is that the name of the episode? No. <laughs> it's Hell definitely no. not. <laughs> Every time you ask that, the answer is always no. Hell <laughs> yeah. No. Um, but uh, Speech class should be the name of the episode. God damn it. Um, hustle season clips. I'm a little dry mouthed today. Excuse me. Yeah, me too. Um, but the, that would be one of the clips. Garbage mouth people. Is the making of Garage Inc. That's on. There's like a little um, press oh. uh, kit kind of thing that's on YouTube. And it's uh, footage of... Um, James Hetfield doing the vocal for a, a, quite a few of the songs. And, I mean, he's just in full Hetfield vocal. Rah. I mean, he's just every single syllable is ending with that shit. And it's like really, it's just like he couldn't stop it. He couldn't stop the rah. Why stop, why why stop now? Yeah, I I why, stop, why would you stop now? I'm like, God. I feel like uh, the pin- pinnacle of that was turning the page. Turn the page. It's, yes, it's like that's that, the one. That's the one he really got into. Oh, this oh, is yeah. my thing now. This is this is no. He's here like, I oh yeah, oh. here I am on the road again. On the road again. His voice here I over am. the years has gotten more and more and more like, you know, ridiculous. Yeah, like Bob <laughs> Seger <laughs> type. His uh, his his vocals are a lot uh, way cleaner now. Like you, can, his 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 shit is not like how it was. Well, before. he didn't take care of his voice before, but like yeah. his voice is higher. Yeah, it's way higher now. It's, it's, no, then when he was younger, you should check it. You should check out his shit. His shit is crazy now. I don't like. He's his voice has gotten like a, a, a ton better since he's like like the way doing he's the saying. Stuff. Uh, you know, like the first three albums, right? He's, he's like most of the songs. He's like in a higher register. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm saying he can like sing higher than that. Like, it's because yeah. he's like a correct singer now. Right. It's, it's weird, but um, but yeah, I'm just interested to see like how she approaches it. Maybe she might do some acoustic kind of, maybe acoustic treatments. Maybe you know, I could, you know, I could not. Maybe I can't even imagine why we could still be talking about this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't care it's what music she news. does on this album. <laughs> It is music news. Wait till we, when it comes out, we'll talk about it. It's news about music. Um, I want to hear it though. All right. Uh, and <laughs> the last thing that I think is the last thing. This is the last thing. You think about think that I the whole have. time. Thank you very much, Gabe. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. Um, appreciate it. Go ahead and you, you can you can turn around now. <laughs> you want to go to sleep? The smoke coming out of his ears, trying Whatever. to think of that shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> make sure you drink, <laughs> so drink water. Trying hard. You drink water. And, yeah. Make sure you're breathing. That's all I want. But, you know, if you want to turn over, it's fine. Um, okay. Jennifer Hudson is uh, doing a Aretha Franklin project. And that's coming out on one station. One station. 
And there's also another Aretha Franklin project coming out at the same time. Um, so she's doing a, a biopic called Respect. Um, and there's another miniseries called Genius Aretha. And those are both with, like, you know, biopic type things. And she's saying that the other one doesn't really count because it's not a film. Okay. So she's beefing. Well, I don't, I don't care about that. It's, no. It sounds like all the famous people are finally discovering wedding bands. It's like, you know what? We could just do covers. You know what I mean? It's like all of a sudden, uh, like, every, it's, uh, it's everybody. It's yeah. like, did you know that we could do a cover? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I'm Aretha Franklin now. Yeah. Like, I'm Metallica now. <laughs> I'm a, yeah. I can do it now. <laughs> now nah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what song was that? No, I'm going to try that song, too. I'm surprised if more of these were arranged by both parties. I want, uh, yeah. It seems because like it's more, it, it more kinda, press for both of them. Well, it's in a way, it can be more press and plus, like, the estate, whatever, you know, I it's think good so for too. them. Yeah, it's like these legacy artists right. in which, like, some company is getting every dime off an Aretha thing. Exactly. While it's, if they made a Jennifer Hudson record, it'd Publishing. have to be hers. Right. Publishing you know, stuff. they just keep releasing old people's music. They're like, oh, we just get, when a new person does it, we get paid regardless. Yep. You know, so. Yep. Yeah. It's just, it's, uh, that's cool, yes. Whatever. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, biopics are, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think I think I just prefer documentaries to biopics so much. But I loved the new edition Bobby Brown ones. Yeah. You know, like, no, if, if it's going to be actually be, they're just so rarely good. Biopics are yeah. so, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Biopics right. are so rarely good. Yeah. That it's hard to be excited about hearing ones coming out. While it's a documentary, it's just like, okay, well, who's doing a documentary? Maybe there'll be some footage in it that I haven't seen before or some stories I ever heard. But it, uh, but biopics, she's like, is any of this real? We can always leave it thinking, wondering what's real and what wasn't. Totally. You know, it's when you when I watch a biopic, it's almost like I have documentary. I, I'm giving it documentary lens mm-hmm. by accident. Mm-hmm. You go like, oh, this is this is true, right? And they're like. No, nah, we don't. We Many don't know. Series if of versus doc versus biopic versus whatever. Yeah, it's just like with well, Wait, James Brown was Based in an underground story. boxing fight club boxing thing in the mm-hmm. woods, and we're like, nah, this look cool for the movie. Like, yeah, uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> what am I not, watching? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. He's like he boxed in like jail or whatever. Yeah, it's like that's not. It was that's, child. It was child boxing in the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Like that's not. Yeah, that's not even a <laughs> they thing. They embellish a um, lot. Yeah, but you know what? You know what I was thinking when you said that though. You know, it would be weird. I feel like the one thing that would be really strange is if if Drake, he would never do it. Because I think it would like totally like kill his career but i don't think he could do a covers record yes he could he probably was already about to do it a covers record yeah drake yeah it just no seems way. it just seems like that would be so yeah. kind of weird for him what? so out of his element yeah. no um, i don't no. think so you know I feel like he can do whatever he wants no drake i don't <laughs> think so oh yeah. no right, so i i, I, I well, all know, right all right, chill. I'm just saying, I, you should stick in your lane, though. I mean, stay in your yeah. lane. I mean, the Don't Freddie Mercury it. biopic came out. It wasn't. It wasn't really good. The On John one just came out. It wasn't really good. Yeah, Liberace because, one's well, fine. The, the Queen James one. Brown's not the good. Queen one. Uh, they <sighs> yeah. straight John washed it. God was, straight washed it. I need to yeah, watch. It's bad. I mean, yeah. whatever. Whatever the reason is, like, how often do we say biopics are good? Almost never. Wasn't I mean, there one with? Andre three thousand and nope. Hendrix. Yes, did that ever come out? Yeah, that came or out. Thought, but it was it was. But they had to make it based. It had no on, Hendrix music in it or something. Yeah, right. because it, it had it had to be based on sixty four to sixty six because of the music stuff. Not good because they couldn't use the music. Not Boom, straight. Not Jimi good. Hendrix estate would not let them use it. So I hope this. We hope this BB King one they're about to do is good. I think that one's like that one looks legit. I mean, we'll that one looks real. Until some some paperwork doesn't allow Thrill is Gone to be in the movie, and then they have to figure out how to make a movie without the music in it. James Brown shit, same way. They have I mean, to figure out how to make it make it without the music in it. I mean, the thrill is on. It sounds like it's a Glenn Fry movie. Like, is it a Glenn yeah. Fry biopic? <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, is it the thrill is on? Like, the Glenn Fry is on. Glenn Fry. <laughs> he was the most exciting eagle. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> all right. <laughs> No, the most dude. exciting eagle. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was it's Joe Walsh. Joe uh, Walsh. God. I, that's a trick question. I know. That's I I thought that was funny though at the time. I just thought of that just now actually. I don't, I don't care about the Eagles though. Yeah, it was it was a spont- spontaneous comedy style joke. 
Um, all right, well, Gabe is back. I think we're done. That's it. <laughs> Wrap it up. That's it. Wrap it up, B. Um, does anyone does anyone have anything else? That's it. Wrap it up. I'll take it. New video videos and music is coming out. Follow Ooh. us. Yeah, hustle please, season. That's please, it. Please, please, please. Next Check week, follow the hustle season. We appreciate y'all. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Bandcamp, uh, all that shit that you everything that you can think of, Spotify, all that shit. We are all there. We're everywhere, baby. We're bringing you more so much. October 30th, save. Uh, go to our Spotify, all that shit. Follow us, everything. We love you guys. We'll see you guys next week on the Hollow Season! <laughs>